Hey guys, welcome to another episode here with Quincy City Reefs and more. Today, I am here with my daughter. We have this aquarium, it's a 25 gallon aquarium that doesn't have a stand. We bought it at a local fish store. It was used, but it's in great condition. So I kept thinking of what I wanted to do with it. You know, it's been actually stored for quite some time. I finally, finally have an idea what I want to do with it. So hear me out. Which is going to house mangroves. Yes, mangroves. Ever since we saw this tank at Reefa Palooza with, uh, with the deep roots into the sand bed or whatever it is that it's using. I saw, you know, and they had it light lit up it was, and it was huge. So I thought about, man, that's a perfect, like instead of having like a, a house plant, why not have a plant like that for the mangrove, right? So I'm not really gonna take you through the build of this. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of y'all have built an Ikea desk or an Ikea Ta coffee table whatever the case is right so that's pretty much what it is it's a bunch of particle board with uh, compressed wood that we're gonna put together and then we're gonna set the tank on top so once this is set up which for you will be in a few seconds I will show you what it looks like and I'll show you what it looks like with the tank on top hey guys so this is the stand and my dad is gonna go get the aquarium and this is the tank I mean, it literally. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Your butt is brown ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So don't forget subscribe, comment down below, comment, share, uh, watch the video, hit the like button, and subscribe. Because this this is the tank, and this is the way that it looks. The reason why it looks this way is because I was actually using it for some time now as a quarantine tank for frags, for new coral purchases or invertebrate purchases. If you've seen any of my videos in the past, and if you haven't, I recommend that you go watch them. Uh, this, this journey really has, in a way, a story to it in order to understand some of the things that I talk about. This is about, this is about an 18 gallon cube uh, tank. It does not, it is not reef ready. So yes, most I'm gonna be hanging that, hanging the back filter for some time until I, I decide which canister filter to go to because I, that's one of the plans. And so for now, the way that it's gonna be set up is I'm gonna add some sand uh, up to halfway of this tank. You'll see that here shortly. My plan is to make this a mangrove tank, add the sand about halfway so that the roots can can you know can really grow in the sand. Add a heater, add a small circulation pump just to have some circulation, and then I will use that hanging the back filter for as long as I can, you know, until I decide what to go with or connect something different. Uh, this light, I have not decided yet what I'm gonna do with this light. Initially, I was thinking of setting this tank up as a saltwater mangrove tank and put maybe like a clam, make maybe a lot of algae in here and some pipe fish or a puffer, one of those Picasso puffers that are, that are really small. But then I decided, you know what, let me do a fresh water mangrove tank. I want to make this experience as easy as possible as I can. And I was thinking that if I did a fresh water tank, I could eliminate the need of an, an auto top off because it's not as critical to fill it up on the moment or to buy an auto top off unit. I could always just fill it up, you know, manually. Uh, eventually, will I get tired of that? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, this is what this hobby is about, right? Learn and decide, you know, ne never mind, that wasn't for me. Or yes, you know what, I can do this. Because I'm not going to be doing salt water, I don't know if I really want to use that light, being that that light is a lot more blue. I will see how it looks once I set it up to a wider spectrum. And if it's going to be enough for the, for the plants that I have in here, I don't plan on having so many plants. I don't know. I say that now and then later it will, you know, grow and, and be full of of plants in here but we'll see we'll see here's what I ask you if you have any experience with this have you ever had a mangrove tank a freshwater one and what is your recommendation to me like what do you feel that I should do with this because I can tell you that today yes I'm gonna set it up but being that the plant there the mangroves are coming tomorrow being that the mangroves will be small I can always change it and do something different depending on the recommendation that I get 
I did buy something during Black Friday for, for hanging the light up high. Uh, and that's going to be a fluorescent light that I'm going to use. I'm not going to go expensive with Kessel. Uh, I don't want this to be an outrageously overpriced tank. I want this to be a budget tank that a lot of people can follow along if you like. And, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to move it to its uh, permanent location and I'm going to bring you back once this tank is uh, ready for, for me to show you. This is exactly where this tank is going to go. I'm currently working on installing this bracket that you'll see on the floor with this hanging uh, bracket so that instead of it being that I can't really use it for on the stand I drilled holes in the wall the bracket is gonna come up here come out and that's where I'm gonna hang the light out from all right so here you are looking at pretty much almost the end result that end result being that now we have that stand we have the tank I kind of wish that I had a little bit more sand so that I could have filled this up halfway at least. But then the filter would end up touching the sand. And so I'm kind of stuck like Chuck. So I have to come up with a different solution. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use that filter or not. For now, this is what it looks like. I hung up the bar and now this can actually go a lot higher. But I think for right now, that's where I'm gonna leave it at. And I'm gonna hang up a shop light to mount it there and point it down for the plants. So if you want to catch what this tank looks like with mangroves in it, I suggest that you subscribe. I suggest that you hit the notification bell so you can be updated when that video comes out. And I suggest that you hit the like button. <laughs> All suggestions. Um, but yeah, so guys, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it if you would do all those things and I will catch you here on the next one.